Wow, hey Jose. Hi. How are you doing? Great. How are you guys doing back at home? Welcome back to Pajama Prayers. It's me, Isaac. You know, it's so good to see you guys with us today. The Bible says this amazing thing that Jesus promises those who are tired and worn out that he will give us rest. You know, I can't think of a better way of going to bed than by being still in God's presence and by praying together. And that's just what we're going to do right now. Do you guys at home remember how we've been doing that? Yeah, Jose's got it. We close our eyes like this. We bow our heads and remember, whenever we're praying, we talk to God, not just in our minds, but also in our hearts too. And whenever I say the words, thank you, God, that you are, you guys back at home say, good. Well done, guys. That's what we say together. So let's do that now. Let's close our eyes. Let's bow our heads and I'll pray for us. Think about something that's made you feel really happy today. Thank you, God, that you are good. Wow, well done, guys. Hmm, should we do that again? Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Now think of something that's made you feel really sad today. Thank you, God, that you are good. Wow, well done, guys. Okay, let's do that one last time. Everyone with their eyes closed. Now, think about something you want God to give you. Thank you, God, that you are good. Wow, well done, guys. That was amazing, wasn't it, Jose? You know what? You can open your eyes now because it's time for our story together. <laughs> I love this time. We've been uh, reading so many stories. We've been reading songs. We've been reading tales. And what I really love is when I bring something really odd into the room. We brought all kinds of things into the room. Jose, is there anything here that you can see that's a bit out of place? What about you guys at home? Can you spot something that's out of place in the room? Oh, what's that, Jose? You've seen something. Where, where? Ah, oh, look, guys. Look at what Jose's found. It's this. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? Can you guys at home tell me what you think this is? That's right. Well done, guys. It's a leaf. Now, this is a bit odd. You kind of find leaves outside. What are they doing in here? It's a bit odd, isn't it, Jose? Well, today's story is actually about a leaf. And it's about a man in particular who discovered a leaf. And that gave him the peace that he needed to be in a new environment. So, Let's read up all about that. Are you excited, Jose? All right, I'm going to need my Bible for this. <clears throat> and this is today's story. Now, there was a man named Noah. And he opened the window that he had made in a huge boat. He sent out a raven. And it flew here and there, and the waters that had made a flood had dried up from the earth. So Noah sent another bird. He sent out a dove. And this was to find out if the water had actually dried up from the ground. The dove couldn't find a place to land because, well, it was still covered full over the earth. So it came back to the boat and Noah reached out his hand and he took the bird and he brought it back inside. 
Seven days passed, and Noah again sent out a dove from the boat. And that evening it came back to him with, guess what guys, with a leaf in its mouth. Now, Noah knew that the ground was almost dry. Seven days later, he sent the dove out again, but this time it didn't come back. Wow. Wow, what a story, eh? Isn't it amazing? So years and years and years and years ago, the whole world was covered in water, a huge flood. Wow. But you know what? God took back the flood and the ground was dry and all Noah needed was a sign that everything was okay. Isn't it amazing that God blesses us with these little signs? Now, you know what? I think there's a lot to talk about in this story. So I'm going to give you guys some time to talk. Jose and I are going to head off and have a chat as well. But I'd encourage you guys, talk about this story. It could be about anything. Things that were really confusing or or weird in the story. Or it could be about something that was really cool. Even better, we'd love to hear what you guys think on the chat box. Right, Jose? Please type away. It'd be great to know what you think of this story. Okay, Jose, you ready? Let's chat. That was great. Love that. That's a good point, Jose. Oh, hey guys. How are you doing, Jose? That was fun, wasn't it? Did you guys at home enjoy that? It was really, really fun, wasn't it? You know, it's so amazing to think about how God has blessed us in so many ways all throughout history. And it reminds me of a song that we've been singing together over the past few days. Can you guys at home remember what the song is called? Yes, Jose, what's it called? It's called, of course, I almost forgot. Count your blessings, guys. Remember, if we take time to pause and to count just how many things God has given us, I think we'd run out of space in our hands because there's just so much. And this story is great because God gave Noah exactly what he needed to give him peace to everything was okay. You know, I think that's a message we all need to hear right now, don't you think, Jose? Well, I think there's another way we can celebrate, and that's by singing this song together. If you don't know how it goes, these are the actions. It goes, count your blessings, count them one by one, count your blessings, see what God has done. 
Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. It's such a fun song, guys. And I'd encourage you guys at home to join in with this. Remember, keep your ears open, okay? Because it's got a little intro. And when I say actions, you guys join in with exactly what I was showing you just now. Okay? You got that, Jose? You up for this song? Me too. I'm going to need my trusty ukulele. And I'd encourage you guys at home, join in with this. It's a great one. Here we go, guys. You ready, Jose? You ready at home? All right, here we go. When upon life's billows you are tempest tossed, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Here we go, guys. Actions. <laughs> Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Let's do that again, guys. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. And it will surprise you guys. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. <laughs> and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. One more time. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Wow! Wow, that was great, wasn't it, guys? Well done. You know, I love taking time out in my day to just pause and to count how many things God has given me and to thank him for it. Isn't that amazing? It's like we receive gifts and God's like a dad who gives those gifts to us and we get to thank him for everything. Wow. Well, guys, I want to thank God in another way. And do you guys at home remember how we do that? We pray together. So we raise up our hand like this. Well done. We bow our heads and close our eyes. And I'm going to pray for us right now. Lighten our darkness, Lord. And in your great mercy, Keep us safe this night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. In your name. Amen. Wow, that was great, wasn't it? So, so good. We really enjoyed being with you guys today. Remember, Click the subscribe link if you haven't already. Um, you can hit the little bell on the side that will keep you updated every time we have a new episode. And don't forget to share with as many families as you know. It's been such a blessing. And we're going to be back tomorrow at the same time, 5 p.m. But for now, guys, from Jose and me, have a great night. God bless.